So, Mr. Rolling Burritos, I think officially I'm gonna change my name and be like Mr. First Name Rolling, last name Burritos, instead of Frank Valtieris. So I'm here with you guys. Hopefully you guys are doing your goals for 2020. I was like, you know what? Everybody's gonna be setting their goals here pretty soon. It's the end of the year. Let's make a video about it. That'd be the cool thing to do. I'm gonna tell you guys the vision for 2020 that I have when it comes to the food truck and as well when it comes to, um, you know, a bit on the personal, not so much because Rolling Burritos is Frank Baltiers. Frank Baltiers is Rolling Burritos. It's like all one company. But um, with that, 2020 goals. And I was like, let me use this board because I just got it the other day and I just wanted to use it. And I was like, what better way than to set the goals and set the standard and have them here. And then you can flip it and we'll do 2021 goals on the other side. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm going to be straight up and forward with you guys. And like I said, hopefully you guys do this for yourself and put it on video, document it. That way you guys can go mid-year and see where exactly where you guys are at. No better way than to hold yourself accountable than to see a video and being able to see how you communicated with like strangers with like no way of how to do it. And you can be like, man, I've really developed, right? That's the end of what we're trying to do is develop every day and being uh, closer to our goals that we're going to do. So 2020, and like I said, back to what I was saying, for me, the past two years, like two, three years, have been some of the worst in my life financially, financially. And I, and I say that because you know how they say you live paycheck to paycheck? See, I don't get a paycheck anymore. So I'm like, I can't even say I live paycheck to paycheck. I live like paycheck to like, I live like project to project, job to job. And it's been rough, right? It's been rough. I saw a video by Grant Cardone today and he says to get something new, you got to let something go, right? And I have let the corporate world go to be able to attain maybe this goal that we're going to do in 2020. But the last couple of years, uh, how I've made some of my income is, so I have my life insurance license. And then I have, which was one of my first licenses that I had, which is my real estate license. We're going to put a little house right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's the house. So, what I'm going to do in 2020 is 100% my goal. I'm not letting go of I'm not letting go of my licenses, but I am not going to pursue any business whatsoever. Not a single dollar will I produce in these. And that's on purpose. Uh, if you do have your licenses and you're going for any of these two, just know they are really good licenses to have, especially uh, for you know, the real estate side and the real estate investing. I will continue to use this probably in 2021 to buy apartment buildings. That is my goal because, you know, obviously you want to build passive income a little bit more on the wealth building. But when it comes to actively pursuing selling, calling clients, cold calling, door knocking and things like that and calling expired listings, uh, calling people that rent right now that want to buy that I will be doing zero of in 2020. And the reason is because finally for like the first time in my life, uh, how old am I? 1985, so whatever that number is. Um, it's, been, it's been hard for me to focus on, on, on one thing, and I'm gonna be 100% with you guys. It's been hard for me to focus on one thing. And in 2020, I was like, you know what? I gotta leave all this behind and really focus on, on the food truck. So with that, rolling burritos is my only focus for 2020, 100%. 2020 is all about providing breakfast burritos and the best breakfast burrito experience for you guys. So I hope you guys join me when we first open up here, probably if the health department gives me everything back in January, late, most likely because it's already January, like tomorrow. And you know, by the time they give you all the approvals, especially from the city, probably more later towards January. So hopefully you guys come out. I'm going to keep my website updated, rollingburritosfoodtruck.com and uh, keep up to date there. And on the social media, Instagram, on the YouTube, like I said, we're going to change it to Mr. Rolling Burritos. Right now it's Frank Baltiers. We're going to change it to Mr. Rolling Burritos. But with that, I want to tell you guys some of the numbers really quick, just so you guys can get a vision of why the heck would this guy leave these two cool licenses? Like, honestly, you guys can make a killing if you guys really set your mind to it in real estate and life insurance, like for real. Why would he leave these two really good licenses to sell breakfast burritos? And to be honest, that's a great question because people ask me that. Why would you leave it? And I'm going to show you guys some numbers because numbers never lie. And I've been watching The Profit and that guy is really good. Hopefully he comes out to my, if you guys know him, like send him my way. I'll give him some free breakfast burritos. I want to take a picture with him. 
maybe he can invest with me and, and be partners. But anyways, here are the numbers. So before I did my survey, I wasn't accounting for avocado. I wasn't accounting for guacamole. So with that, with 